100 invites per week on LinkedIn. If you are marketing your business on LinkedIn, probably you have noticed this new limit set by LinkedIn recently. So what can we do if uh, we are marketing our business on LinkedIn, we still want to grow? Uh, first thing, you don't want to panic. All right, so this is this should be expected because for all the platforms, when they grow bigger, they need to uh, balance, right? They need to find the balance, they need to maximize their revenue. Uh, so we just have to respect that, okay? Don't panic. Uh, second of all, um, remind yourself of the marketing principles, okay? It doesn't matter what uh, this platform change, how they change things, the principles stay the same. So when it comes to marketing, remember the three steps, uh, connect, nurture, convert, right? So what can we do to connect better? Because the new limit is going to impact on the connect step mostly, right? You previously can send 50 connection invites, right? Invites every day, and now you can only send 15. So the number of invitations you can send is going to be dramatically reduced. So then you just think about connect, all right, connect. What happens be before you connect? What happens after you connect? All right, think about this. So what do I mean by before connect? So before you and your prospects are connected, so what can you do to connect with them, okay? It sounds very, uh, very simple, but it's more than that, okay? So previously, when you can drive the traffic, you can generate leads by sending invites, you do that, you focus on uh, reaching out, connect with people from your niche. Now it's limited, and there's another way you should also consider now, which is encourage or find ways to let your niche to connect with you, all right? So if you never thought about this, think about it, okay? By, ex ex uh, by um, maybe following more people, uh, influencers, right, in your niche, by um, make yourself more you know, kind of public in the feeds so people can find you, can see you, um, engage more with uh, the, hot, the hot topic uh, posts in your niche. People will start seeing you, seeing your name, and seeing you are making a meaningful contribution, right? they will connect with you. So that's the second option, right? To connect, not only reaching out, connect with others, you should find ways to let people connect with you. All right, that's the connect. What happens before you connect? Think about the second option, let people connect with you, right? So what happens after connection, right? When you were able to send 50 connections, connection invites every day, you got 20, 30 new connections every day, you can push, you can just tell them what you do and uh, no, let them decide if they want to move forward. And now, because you only send 15 connections, even uh, when you have 70% acceptance rates, you only got maybe 10 right, new connections every day. So we should be more careful now. You want to do more pull to encourage conversations, to use the conversations, right, the engagement to build trust, to help you, right? accelerate the trust building process so you can get them to talk to you to purchase your offers right so you want to spend more time with every single conversation every single new connections you make so remember right principles don't change when it come to connect what happens before connect what happens after connect so you can still get a good amount of uh, uh, quality leads into your business and nurture them more effectively Right? So third of all, right, think about what else you can do, right? LinkedIn um, set the limits, but they still want to keep us, right, on the platform because they need to make money. They can't just kick us out. If they don't give us ways of uh, you know, surviving, we're gonna leave. And LinkedIn is offering other options for us better um, run our business on LinkedIn, market our business on LinkedIn. No, explore them, right? Open your minds, you know, spend time studying the new features LinkedIn has launched. Try to see how that gonna help you. Right, three points I made. First, don't panic. Second, get back to the principles. Number three, you no, know, open-minded, right? Be open-minded, uh, explore the new features 
and respect their policy and work with LinkedIn to grow your business on LinkedIn. I hope this is uh, helpful so far. Uh, if you have any thoughts, you want to share any other ideas you have to uh, help teachers help you know people grow on their their business on LinkedIn, drop in the comments and I'll get back to you. Okay, see you next time.